St. Bartholomew, one of the 12 apostles, holds a significant yet often understated place in the history of the early church. His name appears in the gospel lists in Matthew, Luke, and Acts. Though Bartholomew is mentioned by name in these lists, he is not explicitly discussed elsewhere in the New Testament under that name. However, many ancient scholars and Catholic tradition have long identified Bartholomew with Nathaniel, the figure mentioned in the Gospel of John. This identification provides a richer understanding of Bartholomew's character and faith. Welcome to our channel. Please like and subscribe. Thank you and God bless you. In the Gospel of John, we encounter Nathanael through the eyes of his friend Philip, who eagerly introduces him to Jesus. The moment is pivotal. Jesus gazes upon Nathanael and declares, Here is a true child of Israel. There is no duplicity in him. John 1 47. This brief yet profound dialogue reveals the essence of Nathanael's or Bartholomew's character. He is an honest man, pure in heart, devoted to prayer, and earnestly awaiting the coming of the Messiah. When Jesus acknowledges having seen Nathanael under the fig tree, a place often associated with study, reflection, and prayer, Nathanael's response is one of immediate recognition and faith. Rabbi, you are the Son of God, you are the King of Israel. John 1 49. This reaction illustrates the depth of Nathanael's understanding and his readiness to embrace the truth when confronted with it. Despite his initial skepticism about anything good coming from Nazareth, Nathanael's pure heart, free from duplicity, allows him to see and recognize the Messiah standing before him. Jesus' words in Matthew 5, 8 resonate powerfully here. Blessed are the pure of heart, for they shall see God. Nathanael exemplifies this beatitude. His purity of heart enables him to see God in the person of Jesus Christ, to believe in him, and to follow him without hesitation. The life of Nathanael, or Bartholomew, after Jesus' ascension, remains largely shrouded in mystery. However, tradition tells us that he took the gospel to the east and ultimately met a martyr's death in Armenia, where he was, according to legend, crucified and then skinned, alive for converting many to Christ. His unwavering faith and dedication to spreading the gospel, even in the face of brutal persecution, reflect the purity and steadfastness that Jesus himself praised. St. Bartholomew's life and martyrdom challenge us to follow Christ wherever he leads. As we reflect on his life, we are reminded of the words of James 1.12, Blessed is the one who perseveres under trial because, having stood the test, that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. May God bless us in Jesus' name, amen. Please like and subscribe. Thank you and God bless you.